I guess the idea is that people can um, donate uh, donate their change to a local coffee shop to go towards a future customer's purchase. So, for instance, um, if somebody would like to pay pay their change forward to a future customer, they can they can say, "I'd like to suspend the coffee." The barista will know that they'll make a note of it. At least that's what we do here, and we can give it to uh, any future customer who either needs it or uh, yeah, it's short on change for the day. And our idea was that uh, we wanted to find ways to welcome people into our shop from all levels of, of income status. Uh, and this was a really simple way of doing that. As a small business, we can't necessarily give, give things away, but we chose to do this as a vehicle to allow people to, um, to come in and enjoy the space and enjoy our products, even if they can't afford it. So people who have changed to spare will um, will say, I'd like to spend a loaf of bread. Um, they can suspend anything in the store. And so we've seen everybody, all sorts of people, over 2,000 people uh, have come in to claim loaves of bread and cups of coffee. What I've been super struck by is that people who use the suspended food and coffee um, also seem to be extremely generous themselves. Um, and. Right when we first started out, people asked questions like, how do you know that people aren't going to abuse this? You know, all of the kind of um, arguments that people use for any kind of social assistance, you know, abusing the system and so on. And we've found that it's been the absolute opposite of that, that some of the people who come in to, to claim, you know, their free food and, and drink, um, when they are able to give back, they do, and super generous quantities. Uh, one of our beloved friends um, who has since passed away, um, he came in for probably the better part of the year and uh, once a month he gave $50 to, um, to the program to pass on to his friends and his community so that they could, they could get free food and free drinks. Um, and he was somebody who clearly couldn't afford it but still wanted to do it anyway. Um, and that really struck me. His generosity was incredible.